Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. In a society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here, you'll be able to do it. When you let go of the need to conform, you create room to fully embrace your true self. By letting go of the need for validation, you can tune into the authentic rhythm of your own heartbeat. Every aspect of your individuality, from your quirks and talents to your values and dreams, come together like interlocking pieces of a captivating puzzle. By embracing your unique nature, you inspire those around you to live with greater courage. Your straightforward example becomes infectious, promoting authenticity. Before long, you'll start attracting relationships that are built on love and respect rather than just performance. You no longer stretch yourself thin, trying to cater to everyone's needs. Instead, you focus on nurturing your unique talents and abilities. Embracing your authentic self brings a sense of ease and contentment that is unparalleled. Embracing our true selves, our passions, and our purpose takes bravery to break free from societal expectations and norms. However, we all desire connections that make us feel seen, accepted, and valued for who we truly are. Having the confidence to live authentically comes from nurturing two important trusts. Having faith in our inner wisdom to guide our life choices and trusting that the right people will accept us for who we truly are. What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. Welcome to gaining new revelations, experiencing 
more and more light bulb moments. Light bulb moments, right? When we catch something, when we understand. That is what a light bulb moment is. I haven't looked up the actual definition. I should. That would be better for us. But the way that I understand it now is... And I describe it as like flashing lights. Imagine having flashing lights, a bunch of light bulb moments through your day. <clears throat> Since we get those new light bulb moments, catch those puzzle pieces, right? Catch this new understanding from Father God, not from ourselves, not the fleshly human understanding, understanding from Father God. Then Father God removes the love from our eyes and we're able to see more clearly the path that we ourselves, not the next door neighbor, not your boss, not brother, sister, the path that you, that we ourselves need to take the next step. Um, what example can you can I give you? For example, I myself, I had a problem asking for help because of being gaslighted by everyone around me because of persecution because now I know that when I come around because I carry the Holy Spirit there these indivi the individuals around me doesn't matter who they are whether they're family members co-workers random strangers their demons manifest around me so they end up gaslighting but now I know I've been understanding and knowing that it's not the human part it is and it's not but it's also this, these demons, these evil spirits, right? That they carry that manifest. This is why, yeah, we do not battle against flesh and blood, right? We don't face fight, we don't, that's not what our Lord is about. We study His Word and pray. Everything that we do, we go to Father God, prayer and supplication, with prayer and supplication, and gratitude and appreciation for answering our prayers. But, when you cover ourselves, when you cover our family, when you cover whoever Father God has bestowed upon me, who I am responsible for, now it's these new subscribers, 43 of you, and this is the way that I understand, that I know, that I need to, to receive for you all and for myself and my family, right? So this is the way to break generational curses, renew our mind, and truly get to experience the living life. Help me wait on you. Give me wisdom and understanding to know how Lord, you want me to move or not move in every situation. Or not move I don't want to move in my wisdom. I want to move in your wisdom in you your timing. Your I commit your timing, to, Lord, waiting I commit on to waiting on you. In Jesus' name. Lord, in Jesus amen. Name, amen. And amen. Spirit. Father, we give you praise today. Father, we because there's nobody today. like you. Because there you is nobody like you. God. You are a holy God. Beautiful a God, mighty a holy God. God, a mighty God. And everywhere all the time, and God, a God who sees us, the time, God, who, God knows who, us, us, who knows who us, who loves us, who loves us, who helps us, who, who helps watches us, over his word to perform it in our lives. There's just nobody like you. Your will performing nobody in is our beautiful lives. As There's you. nobody like you. Nobody, nobody is righteous as you. Nobody is righteous as you. Nobody is awesome as you. Nobody is faithful as you. As you, oh you truly Lord, we are give you an praise. Awesome God. We, we honor you praise, today, and we ask you to help us, Lord. We ask you to help us, Lord. Help us. We ask you to forgive us for all the times that we ran ahead of your heart. Lord, would you forgive, Lord, us, you forgive us for all the times? Forgive us for all when we ran ahead of your heart. Oh Jesus, forgive us. 
Forgive for all us, the Lord times Jesus. when we did not acknowledge you. For all the time when we, we did didn't not ask you which way to go. We didn't ask you what we job to take. We didn't ask you which friends to make. We didn't ask you which church to go to. We didn't ask you which we should have that surgery or believe you for the healing. We didn't ask you which friends to make. 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 We didn't ask you which The inner witness, the co-witness, help us to discern the inner witness, the witness the co of the Holy Spirit the within us. Oh Lord, Lord, help us remember that we should be led forth by Your Spirit and by peace. We can let by peace, peace be the umpire, deciding what is in and what is out, deciding what is, deciding what is, what is good for us and bad for us. Even though it may be good for somebody else, it doesn't mean that it's good for us. Although it might be wrong for somebody else, it doesn't mean that it's good for us. It might be wrong for somebody else, it doesn't mean that it's wrong for us. It doesn't mean that it is wrong for us. It may be right for somebody else, it doesn't mean that it's right for us. So help us to get our eyes off what other people are doing. Help us to stop being
want to live according to the flesh. According to the flesh, we will die. But if by the Spirit we put to death the deeds of the body, we will live. Help us, Lord, not to be led by our carnal nature, by our unbelief, but by the Spirit. Help us, Lord, not to be led by the deeds of the body, we will live. Help us, Lord, not to be led by our carnal nature, by what we've done in the past that worked last time. God, help us to get on our feet and begin to move forward. Help us, Lord, not to be led by our carnal nature, by what we've done in the past that worked last time. God, help us to get on our faces and cry out to you until we hear your still right small voice you or discern your peace your in our heart voice. or feel the co-witness in our spirit. Help or us not to grieve the Holy Spirit, spirit of God by neglecting, spirit. by neglecting His leadership, by setting His wisdom aside, by failing his wisdom by failing aside. to seek His wisdom in the first place. Oh God, would you help us? Would you For the help law us, of Lord. the Spirit of life has set us free in Christ Jesus from the Thank law of sin and death and we don't Thank want to come back Lord. under the ways Lord. of the world which which lead us nowhere good we don't want to be influenced by the spirit of we the world want we want to be influenced by the spirit of the, the holy the holy spirit, spirit. The holy spirit only help the us, holy Lord. spirit sanctify us help in truth us, Lord. Sanctify us your in word truth, Lord. Is your truth. word is help us truth. Lord not to believe every help spirit us, Lord, not to believe because there's many spirit. voices in the spirit and they're many voices all in the spirit. with significance they all have something to say they, they are have fearful some say. of them and they are anxious some of them and they are some dreading of are anxious, some of them some so of help them us dreading. Lord to test the help spirits us, Lord, to, test to see the if they Teach are from you because you've not spirits. given us a spirit of fear because I you have not given us a spirit of fear you have led by fear you've not given us a spirit of fear of a sound you've mind, not put the yoke of, of bondage on us you've not given us a spirit, spirit of fear so help us to stop operating us, Lord, stop following us, the strange voice of fear to stop following the strange voice of anxiety to stop following the strange voice help of dread to stop, stop following, following the strange, strange voice, voice of anxiety of dread of grief help us to stop being led emotions. by all of these help us earthly to crucify emotions. the flesh help and the lust thereof the and be led the by your spirit and, and your spirit, spirit alone spirit. and be led by your spirit thank you lord thank, thank you lord thank you father lord. god thank, thank you lord thank you holy spirit Thank you, Lord, because Thank if we're led so by the Spirit, we're so not much. under the law. If we're led by the Spirit, if we walk in the Spirit, we'll not gratify the lust of the flesh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wherever Thank two or you, more are gathered together, we give you praise and honor am. and glory. There is no God like you. Thank you Lord, we exalt you, Jesus. Thank you for we exalt you, Holy Thank Spirit. You, Thank we you exalt you, Father, Father in heaven. We exalt you, you and we Father 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 we are so grateful we you, Father, 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 you, for your leadership. For your and we will not compromise your leadership anymore. Lord, help us to always put you first, to seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness so that everything else we need can be added to us even if we are persecuted for it lord we give you your praise and honor and glory in the name of jesus correct, what is just amen and amen share this with someone quickly we're going to pray about this holy prophetic boldness so go ahead and share this quickly share on your timeline via messenger via twitter your will lord in jesus name thank you lord. Thank and remember you, father, thank you, lord, it's jesus a holy name, boldness we're after because there's a yes, harsh Lord, boldness. Give us a holy boldness. We don't want a harsh boldness. boldness. That splits boldness. churches. It splits movements. Not a boldness we don't want a harsh flesh, boldness Father, God, a that boldness. wounds no. people and curses others. A we don't want a harsh boldness. That's not coming from the Holy Ghost. God we want a holy boldness. We want the spirit of holy on our boldness. Only Are you listening that, to me? Lord. Amen. We don't want a sexually you, perverse utterance. Thank you, Father. Bold in the flesh. Bold. No, we want. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your people need you, Lord. Oh, your people need you. Whoever you created me to reach, Father God, they need you, Lord. They need you. I need you, Lord. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you for feeding us through our sister Leclerc. Jennifer Leclerc and her ministry. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you for edifying us. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for giving us life and breath, Lord, on this day. Thank you for being strong when we are weak, Lord. Thank you for being strong when we are weak, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Thank you for connecting us with our tribe, with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gifts that you have given me that I get to share with the world with your people father god and for those who don't know that they are your people but they have they will soon they will in divine timing 
whenever you say. Just like you did with me. For many years, for many years I was lost. I was in darkness. I was in, in the dark, in the, in the prison of my mind, of my body temple. My feelings, my emotions, I was lost. This is why now I know and I understand. But I must continue to share my brokenness and my wholeness in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Me is trying to make you focus on the things that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle. Thank you for sustaining me. I was sitting here praying this morning and I was asking. people so desperately got me thinking when a hero is in pain when heroes are suffering the ones who will protect them are are the ones they fight for Izuku Midoriya is carrying the burden of his power and trying to keep us safe but he still has a lot to learn he's just a kid this it's the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. Sure. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became. So, which pair of shoes did you pick out? Those! It's gotta be them! This is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became the greatest of heroes. Victoria. I can't just sit here! It shouldn't be us this time. Mr. Jekyll, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was too afraid to say anything before. That girl was trying so hard to get everyone to let you stay. And I knew I had to do something. I'm here. So you don't have to cry anymore. Everything will be okay. A bunch of the shelters turned me away. UA was the only refuge that would welcome me. I got to see you again, so I'm happy. Thanks for what you did back then, crybaby hero. <laughs> they better open their mouth. They better open their mouth and confess. Because when all hell breaks loose, you will be placed on high ground and untouched. See, that's the benefit of confessing. Just say I did it. You know, these people, they just better say I did it. They better say I judged you. They better say what they did to you. They better say I talked about you. They better say I judged you. They better say I used you. They better say I had fun. Confess what they have done. And until you confess, instead of just praying, it's going to continue. It's going to continue to get harder for them. God in his word gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives Embrace preparation with a fearless spirit and pursue your goals with unwavering optimism. Through regular practice, fear can be overcome, leading to states of peak performance. Mastering the art of acting in the face of anxiety empowers you to consistently achieve success. Every brave step into the unknown strengthens one's confidence to reach greater heights. Before long, Fears become the driving force behind your progress and success. How you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that 
calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. One mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?